Good morning students. Welcome to chemistry class. The last part of the lesson, structure of atom. Structure of an atom. The nucleus is the central part of the atom. It contains protons and neutrons. Proton is a particle with positive charge that is in the nucleus of an atom. An uncharged elementary particle that has mass nearly equal to that of proton and is present in all known atomic nuclei except the hydrogen nucleus is neutron. So protons and neutrons are called nucleons that is present inside the nucleus. An electron is a negatively charged subatomic particle that orbits around the nucleus. Now let's learn little more about the atom. Generally, atomic number and mass number of the atom of an element are represented by a symbol like this X with Z and A, where X is the element. The number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom is known as atomic number and it also represents the number of electrons in the orbit. It is denoted by Z. The total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom is known as mass number. It is denoted by A. The value of Z is written on the left and bottom corner of the symbol representing the element X. And the value of A is written on the right hand top corner. Now let's look into the representation of element hydrogen. The symbol of hydrogen is H. Its atomic number is 1. That is only one electron revolve around the nucleus and only one proton is present inside the nucleus. So its atomic number is 1. The mass number is also 1 because there is no neutrons in the hydrogen. So it is represented as atomic number 1 and mass number 1. That is the value of Z1 atomic number is written on the left and bottom corner of the symbol H and the value of A the mass number is also one that is written on the right and top corner. The number of protons in an atom remains the same for each element whereas the electrons that orbits around the nucleus takes part in chemical bonding or reaction. Now, number of protons in a nucleus of an atom is termed as its atomic number. Number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom is termed as its atomic mass. Now, how we represent the elements using short method. The shortest representation of an element is symbols. It may be single letter, two letters or letters derived from the Latin names. For example, the symbol of hydrogen is H. Helium is He. Here, first letter should be always capital letter, second letter should always be small letter. Hydrogen, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen are some elements represented with single letter. Helium, lithium, beryllium, neon, magnesium are some elements represented with two letters. Sodium and potassium is represented in the Latin words natrium and kalium with the symbols N, A and K for potassium. For some elements, first two letters from their names used as symbols. Helium, H-E, beryllium, B-E. For some other elements like magnesium, first letter and third letter M-G is used as symbol for magnesium. Now, can you identify the element with atomic number 3? It's lithium. Now, yet another example, for an element, the atomic mass is 11 and its atomic number is 5. How will you find the number of protons and neutrons? Since the atomic number is 5, number of protons also 5. Its atomic mass is 11, so number of protons and neutrons together is 11. Now you know protons are 5, so the number of neutrons is equal to 11 minus 5, that is 6. So neutrons are 6, the element is boron. This is how we have to find out protons and neutrons from the atomic number and atomic mass. 
so you are clear with the elements and the symbols its atomic number and atomic mass now let's see how electrons are arranged in different shells now let's learn about electronic configuration also called the electronic structure it's nothing but the arrangement of electrons in energy levels or shells around the nucleus the first shell is k shell which accommodates maximum of two electrons Second shell is L shell, which accommodates maximum of eight electrons. Third shell is the M shell, which accommodates maximum of eighteen electrons. And the fourth shell is N shell, that accommodates maximum of thirty-two electrons. Let's see how the electrons are arranged in different shells for various elements. For example, hydrogen has one electron in K shell, that is first shell. helium has two electrons in k shell or the first shell lithium has total of three electrons that is distributed in k and l shells that is first and second shells first shell accommodates the maximum of two electrons and the third electron is accommodated in the second shell now take a look at the electronic configuration of neon which has total of 10 electrons first shell accommodates two electrons and second shell accommodates eight electrons now let's look at the electronic configuration of sodium which has total of 11 electrons first shell accommodates two electrons second shell accommodates a maximum of eight electrons so the remaining one electron is accommodated in the third shell that is m shell The number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom is known as atomic number. If the atomic number changes, the element also changes. For example, if an atom contains three protons, it has to be a lithium atom. For example, if an atom contains six protons in the nucleus, it has to be a carbon atom. Does the element change when the mass number changes? If one proton is present in the atom it has to be a hydrogen atom observe the mass number of each hydrogen atom represented below it's not same so the atoms of an element with different mass number are called isotopes for example hydrogen has three isotopes they are protium with mass number 1 deuterium with mass number 2 tritium with mass number 3 another example if six protons are present in the atom it has to be a carbon atom so carbon has three isotopes carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 isotopes of hydrogen protium deuterium and tritium in protium there is only one proton is present inside the nucleus no neutrons so its mass number is 1 in deuterium one proton and one neutron is present in the nucleus so its mass number is 2 in tritium one proton and two neutrons so its mass number is 3 after the discovery of isotopes the second postulate of dalton became invalid because the same element hydrogen has three different types of atoms or isotopes